Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3 for the Su- not the Super Nintendo, which it was for the Super Nintendo, but it is for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And... We're obviously gonna need to use Rush Coil to get out of here. And I'm gonna take the... ladder to the right because of the things that I can get. That was a small price to pay, but it worked. Let's go ahead and drop, jump off the ladder. We can't just walk off of it to get that lower one, and then we can get the higher one. Now I have a lot more energy for the hard knuckle. Definitely want to refill on that. And this is an easy reach, so why not grab that energy can? Dr. Wily's castle is kind of generous with the energy cans. It's pretty easy to get your hand on them whenever necessary. And we're seeing the grenade and space background enemies from the Shadow Man stage. So we might as well go ahead and make the room a little brighter as we make our way through here. I will be recovering energy for the Magnet Beam as I do this, thankfully. And that would have been really nice to have, that little piece of energy right there, but whatever. There's the bowl of Joe. Let's just go ahead and avoid him. And I want to shoot this Crusher guy from midair. The more hits I can get on him, the better. Because sliding under him can be hard. And now we got this. Take the platforms. Try not to run into any spikes. Simple enough. Still pretty easy to mess up if you don't know what you're doing, but still, easy enough. And I do want to go up here to get some power-ups. Don't know which ones I'm going to get because they're in those little question mark things there, but hopefully I can make use of them. Might as well refill that, why not? Hey! Random energy can! I will take that! Now, I need to use Search Snake for the next boss. Here you will face three evil Mega Men. They shoot whenever you shoot sometimes, or it seems that way. And they always go top, middle, no, top, bottom, middle, in terms of where you're supposed to shoot them. I guess maybe it is random, I don't know. But use the real Search Snake there's only one Sir Snake. Why am I saying it's the real one? Am I the Iron Sheik here? No, I am not. Use the Sir Snake to find the real one and do the most damage on the real one. I made that seem a lot harder than it was. Your mileage may vary on that boss. And now it's time for this stage. Hmm, where do I go? Hmm. I might as well go ahead and refill Search Snake, why not? And... Shadow Blade I'm going to refill. And just use the rest on a Hard Knuckle, why not? And you want to watch out with these guys. Because these... Metallic enemies... We'll throw these boxes of junk at you, and they can do quite a bit of damage if you're not careful. At this point, I'm just running out of things to refill on. It kind of helps to slide towards them. Sometimes it doesn't. Depends on how fast you are and whether or not you can keep them from shooting one, more than one box of junk at you. Managed to luck out that time. And thankfully, those guys don't show up anymore. Love how uh, the pipes have this pseudo 3D thing going on. So I thought I'd show you guys that. And now it's time to go for the Dr. Wily teleport hatches. I know for a fact that the first one is Needle Man. And by the first one, I mean the one from the top left. Oh yeah, that's right, Gemini Laser. I used that on Needleman. 
And I want to jump and shoot here. I probably jumped a little bit too high there. And that actually kind of worked. I actually didn't die that time, unlike the practice run. It's going to be hard for me to remember which one's which. I want to believe that the one to below Needle Man is Magnet Man. Takes a little bit of effort to jump up there. Yep, that's Magnet Man. I may have to use a... No, I won't have to use an energy can. And... What was the one down here? I just did a practice run of this. Well, I'm gonna find out and then change accordingly anyway. Oh, that's right, it's Gemini Man, which means I have to use Search Snake. Ah, I, should, I knew I should have used an energy can there. Search Snake has a lot of ammo, though, so we can try again. Alright, let's do this the proper way, and try not to take damage unnecessarily here. And thankfully, I was able to refill that back up to full. I think this one is Hard Man. It is. Wanna... Be sure I'm out of his way and in the air. And apparently you can't hit him out of the air. He's got to be on the ground for you to hit him. That's certainly not a problem with the magnet missile. What was after... Was it Top Man? I can't remember. Oh, it is Top Man! The best interesting thing about Hard Knuckle is that you can hit him for a ton of damage twice before the tops go at you. So you can take care of Top Man in record time. I'm trying to remember who I fought last. I think it was Snake Man that I fought last. But there's still Spark Man, Shadow Man, and Snake Man. I believe I face Shadow Man? Or is it Spark Man next? I'm gonna hit the Shadow Blade just in case. It's Shadow Man. I can kinda tell when the floor was super flat. And I am having a hard time here. But thankfully, I'm close to. near full health, which means this one's got to be Shadow Man. Not Shadow Man, Spark Man! I just fought Shadow Man. Might as well go ahead and just completely just cheese him with the Shadow Blade there. Why not? Which means that this time I'm going to have the face Snake Man. Trying not to get my S is confused. Which means I'm going to have to use the Needle Cannon for this fight. If you're careful, and you know what you're doing, I believe you can actually take out his Search Snakes with the Needle Cannon. But your aim has to be pretty good. And that is it. For the Teleport Boss Gauntlet. Yeah, I need this. I need Spark Shock. Okay. I know I'm gonna need Shadow Blade. No, I'm gonna need Hard Knuckle. I can always fill a, up Shadow Blade later on. And now it's later on. And as soon as you enter that teleport hatch, you go down to stage four. Might as well refill the rest of the weapons, why not? Go ahead and get that filled up. 
What else do I want to fill up? Well, I know I want to fill up Top Spin, so let's do that. And, okay. More random weapon energy. Cool, okay. I want to be very careful as... Oh! I forgot it was just this room and the boss. Okay, you want to equip Spark Shock first. There is a cannon on the underbelly of the boss here. And when it shows up, I'm going to take it down. As long as you have Spark Shot and you take those things out quickly, you won't have much of a problem dealing with the boss here. Now Dr. Wily shows his face. And you want to hit him with Hard Knuckle about four times. There we go. He will shoot at you. You will probably have to use an energy can. I know I almost did. And you will take him out in record time with the hard knuckle. But that Dr. Wily is a fake. It was a robot the entire time. And now we're going to go into the final chamber in this video, because I'm not doing another part. Let's see here. I fill up Top Spin. I fill up Shadow Blade. I can just fill up whatever I want at this rate. Why not? Might as well get some stuff here to cope with the slowdown that's happening here. Um, sure. Doesn't matter what I fill up at this point. And of course, I do want the extra life and the energy can too. All right. Time to pull out the Shadow Blade, because we're going to need it for this boss, because we are finally fighting Gamma. That's the Gamma symbol there, flashing on his forehead, in case you didn't know what that was. The lowercase one, anyway. And, yeah, very simple. You want to get to this platform, and you need to use that fist that just shot out from the right side of the screen to get up here. Now, how am I doing? If you don't think you're gonna land this, be sure to use an energy can if you feel you're low on health. Because I'm gonna use top spin. You can actually fight this second part with any other weapon. And wow, I messed that up. If you use the top spin, that happens. And wow, I was so close to death. And I thought I ran out of top spin energy. I was looking at the wrong gauges. <laughs> but we finally beat Dr. Wily for a third time. And some junk falls on Wily, some junk falls on Mega Man. Some guy who looks like that guy we fought throughout the game saves us. Can't find Dr. Wily, just go ahead and saves us. And now we've got the epilogue. Dr. Light found you unconscious, but there's that whistle again. Proto Man! So Mega Man had a prototype and a brother all along. I mean, they're both made by the same person, or people, because both Proto Man and Mega Man were both made by... Dr. Wily and Dr. Lie, so technically they can be considered related. But anyway, we see the dossiers of the bosses from the first game. Just to show off all the Mega Man 1 Robot Masters. There's Roll, that girl we saw in the first game. At the very ending, she finally gets a name. There's Mega Man, and then there's Proto Man, and it actually says Brother of Mega Man on there. Mega Man looks up in the sky, there's Proto Man's image, and in the upper right there, there's Dr. Wily's UFO, meaning he survived. And then we see the roll call of the Robot Masters from Mega Man 3. 
And with that, that is the end of Let's Play Mega Man 3. This isn't too much different from Mega Man 1 and 2. Matter of fact, this kind of builds on Mega Man 2. A lot of people consider this the zenith of the series. Though it kind of depends on who you ask. Some people probably put it on a pedestal above Mega Man 2. Some people put it side by side with Mega Man 2 as basically the two games that were the zenith. And some people probably put it a small step below 2. I mean, it's still good, but... Those Doc Robot Masters. Yeah, I... I... It looked good on paper, but it kind of... Artificially lengthens the game. It feels kind of like one of those, just because you sh can do it doesn't necessarily mean that you should sort of things. But other than that, it's still a great game from Capcom. And it's just what you would expect from the other two games in the series. Graphics are still crisp and good. The game is still very playable. Sound and music are great. It is a little more difficult, though. Gotta be a little better on the jumps. Especially on Shadow Man's second stage where you fight the Doc Robot Masters there. Those spikes were... Those wall spikes were something else. But it's definitely one game that is definitely worth purchasing any way you can, getting into your game collection. This one is definitely a hit. Will I do Mega Man 4? Eventually. I don't know when I'm going to do it. But I will eventually do it, I think. I want to see if I can do some more games. Maybe they'll be good, maybe they'll be bad, maybe they'll be indifferent or mediocre or anything. Who knows? Who knows what my next game is going to be? Hopefully I will be back with another game. Anyway. Yeah. Mega Man 3. Go play it if you haven't. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe, thanks for watching, and see you guys later!